Good day and welcome to our celebration for Tuesday, June the 9th. We approach the level three for the pandemic and hopefully many blessings will come our way in the future as we hope we will return back to our church for Eucharist itself with the family of God, the church. Our gathering chant this day is number 651, Morning Has Broken. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning. Praise for them springing fresh from. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, we gather in faith, celebrating our love for Christ Jesus. We continue with ordinary time of our church's year. That is why we wear green vests, which I acknowledge is the ordinary way that we live the gospel. And so as we celebrate the ordinary time of the church year, the scriptures remind us that Jesus Christ truly calls each one of us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. With humility of heart, we pray for our families, confessing our sins and asking God for mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, as we go forth celebrating our love for you, help us to be a community night in charity and compassion. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, as we hear the scriptures this day, Give us the courage to witness to the name that is faith-filled, the way of the Lord Jesus. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we, who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the first book of Kings. After a while, the wadi where Elijah was hiding dried up because there was no rain in the land. When the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go now to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and live there. For I have commanded a widow there to feed you. So he set out and went to Zarephath. When he came to the gate of the town, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a vessel so that I may drink. As she was going to bring it, He called to her and said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. But she said, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked, only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am now gathering a few sticks so that that I may go home and prepare it for myself and my son 
that we may eat it and die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you have said. But first, make me a little cake of it and bring it to me. And afterwards, make something for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, the jar of meal will not be emptied and the jug of oil will not fail until the day that the Lord sends rain on the earth. She went and did as Elijah said, so that she as well as he and her household ate for many days. The jar of meal was not emptied, neither did the jug of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord that he spoke to Elijah. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, Lord, let your face shine on us. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You give me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But I know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it in your beds and be silent. There are many who say, oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their grain and wine abound. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, But if salt has lost its taste, what can make it salty again? It is no good and only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it can shine for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight before others, so that all who will see your good works will give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am sure that at this stage in the year 2020, most of us agree that it has been very challenging and it has been very difficult few months, whether it is the Snowmageddon or COVID-19 or the Black Lives Matters with the great protests happening throughout our world. All of these moments, we have recognized that many challenges have come to the forefront. And perhaps one great challenge or disappointment for all of us is that we would wish that we would gather as God's family in our church to celebrate the beautiful liturgies and to give praise to God. Yet in the midst of all the times of difficulty during the past few months, acknowledging the tragedies throughout our province or other things of sacred importance to us, The evidence that we are Christian is truly present because in the midst of all the chaos and the anxieties and the stresses and the challenges, we have proven that, as today's gospel says, we are the salt of the earth 
and we are the light of the world. The kindness that you have extended to many, to each other and beyond, the love that you shared in time of difficulties, especially with tragedies and disappointments and sadness, truly have given witness to the fact that God still walks with his people. That is why as the scriptures present to us today, as the gospel proclaims that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, he calls us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. As we read the scriptures this day, it is because we are salt of the earth and light of the world that we are called to be bearers of hope, to be given encouragement to each other, to stand strong, united in faith. All those are the ingredients that allow us to prove to the fact that God's light, God's love, that God's face shone upon each one of us. And so, my friends, as we celebrate this Eucharist, as we continue to give praise to God, let us ask the Lord Jesus to bless each one of us, to bless our families, that every act of kindness, every gesture of friendship, every moment that we extend forgiveness, every time that we say we are sorry, the little things we do each day, these are the ordinary ways in the ordinary time of the church year that we continue to be faith-filled people. So yes, the challenges of 2020 have all been very demanding of all of us to work through the process of it all. But through it all, we say, we praise you, O oh God, we love you, and we seek our best to be the salt of the earth and light of the world as we encourage each other, support each other, and do our best to be a sign that we are Christian people. Amen. Gather in praise of our merciful God of all us, be the salt of the earth and light of the world. May our example is bear fruit as we go forth into our world, sharing companions the love of God. The response to the petitions is Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, called to deepen its understanding of the mystery of God, we pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations seeking to learn the ways of peace and gentleness, we pray to the Lord. For all who are oppressed because of race, gender, or religion, and for those who inflict the wounds of prejudice, we pray to the Lord. For all health care professionals who have served their communities during the pandemic will understand that their service is a share in the work of the Holy Trinity, the great communion of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who are sick and suffering in body, mind, and spirit, may they feel the presence of God's love and compassion during their time of illness. We pray especially for Jim Healy, Brandon Bowen, and for a special intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all those who have died, and for their friends, family, and loved ones they have left behind. May they be at peace with the risen Lord. Today's Mass intentions are for the deceased members of the Bassett family, Sister <coughs> Helena Murphy, Peter and Catherine Breen, and Peter Breen, Jr. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We take a moment, my dear friends, as we offer our own personal intentions for the gift of patience, the gift of God's love to be with each one of us this day. Loving and merciful God, we stand before you, always seeking to do your will. Guide us by your holy word and bless our community that each and every one of us may realize that we truly are called to be Christ to each other. In his name, through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have bread to offer, which the earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have wine to offer. Through the divine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and forgive me for all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with great joy we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that these gifts may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of all sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, a chalice of salvation, giving thanks to God that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and with all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My friends, we approach our God daily with our own personal intentions, whatever they may be, for family, friends, for particular needs. Seeking God's blessing, we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
though not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer each other a sign the peace of Christ virtually. Uh, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of this world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come, at least spiritually, into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for praying with us once again as we celebrate this Eucharist together. For your kindness and love to each other, we give thanks. Just to acknowledge some of the priest's anniversary this week. I know uh, yesterday, Monday, Monsignor Puzzler celebrated his anniversary. Uh, today, to, Tuesday, rather, is Father Jim Fleming. And Thursday is Father John Costello and Father John Hanton. And Saturday is Monsignor Dennis Walsh. So these wonderful priests will celebrate their anniversaries this week and wish them every blessing in their ministry. Last night on the internet, I watched a beautiful program, sad as it is, of the funeral memorial service in St. Lawrence. And I, if you want to watch, I believe it's SLN Community Channel. If you uh, type that into your computer there. I'm sure you can watch the celebration. Father Nelson on a beautiful liturgy as he prayed with the families for their lost their loved ones. So again, if you wish to watch that as SLN Community Network and Community Channel rather, and you can watch it for today. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and bless our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Masses, and that we go forth to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Thanks be to God. Our recessional chant. Let's be the Lord, let's be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrows that fly by day. He will release me from the nets of sinful men. He will protect me. Their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings, I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow by day I need not shrink before the terror of the night stand alone before the light of day no harm shall come to me no arrow strike me down no evil settle in my soul 